So Kyle, first and, first and foremost, three points tonight and then important three points after back-to-back -back defeats. Yeah, 100%. So I think we, the main focus was getting the result and we grinded it out to the end. It's not the football you're used to seeing from us, but it's the football that needed to be played today to get the result that we got. Like you say, had to grind it out. And if the three points were going to come in anyway, was it typical that it came like that as well? Uh, yeah, definitely. We come up against a tough Halifax side today and I believe that the, the played strong throughout, so that was the way we had to do it today and we showed that we can do both sides of the game as well. We're not just the footballing side, although that is our, that is our main philosophy. However, we can do both sides and I would like to say we showed teams that today that we've got the characteristics to go and push on and play the dirty way, if you'd like to call it that. Halifax are a strong side, aren't they? And scoring 13 goals in the last three games, it's no surprise why they're attacking side, aren't they? Oh yeah, definitely. You saw that today. They're a really good attacking side. So like to get balls into the box, play very direct. And I have two centre mids that are really technical with the diag. So we had to shut that off today. And I believe that we defended cross as well, and we defended really well altogether. Is it important that once we went that goal down, that ball equalised so quickly after? Because as more time goes on, it might be more difficult to find the way back into the game? Yeah, definitely, especially after the results that we had. I feel like we had to come back fast and come back strong to show the character. And that's what pushed us through today, I believe, because the characteristics that we got, I knew we have it was in the side. It was just getting it out there onto the field, and we did that today. Let's talk about the moment then, that, that winning goal. <laughs> talk us through it, mate. But words can't describe it. It's just, in the moment, it's come down, I've touched it down. Any other day I'll probably lay it out wide and get into the box, but today I've just decided to hit it and on the half volley you don't get much sweeter than that. Top corner as well, can't beat it, can you? Oh yeah, definitely. It's just set the standards, first goal, first goal, league goal. So set the standard, I don't think I'll ever top that one. It's been quite a rise as well, hasn't it? Personally for yourself and scoring in the FA Cup first and now your first National League goal is now the time to really kick on and try and cement a side, uh, place in the side. Yeah, definitely, especially to the unfortunate of Adam Rooney getting injured. I believe that now it's my time to try and step up and cement my place within the side. He's a big name within football and I love learning off him with a throughout training. So it's now using what he's taught me and my own ability to push him on and cementing my, my first team spot. That's important, isn't it, in football? learning off experienced pros and obviously we've got Cameron here at the club as well so there's a real mixture of, of forwards out there. Oh yeah definitely Cameron Arch is a class forward as well although he's younger than he's always younger than me he's still had training that I haven't been fortunate enough to have so I, I learned off both sides of the game the young and the experienced so I really enjoy it here. Gonna enjoy tonight as well after, after that goal. Yeah definitely. Well done mate. Thank you.